to daybreak, we could see updates to some commercial fishing rules. They're nearly 90 years old, but there are three bills in Lansing meant to do that that have gone to committee. Now, the DNR supports the bills, but they have the state's commercial fishermen on edge, especially at a time when their primary source of income, the Lake Whitefish, can't be caught. We have News 8's Justin Kolar here. He talked with fishermen who say their way of life could be in danger if these bills pass. What else did you find out, Justin? Well, Casey and Teresa, the fishermen I spoke with say these bills are flat out against commercial fisheries. It's an industry that's already shrunk considerably here in West Michigan. It is very lonely here on the southern Lake Michigan side for commercial fishing. Amber May and her husband Eric are the last commercial fishermen in West Michigan. Their family has fished here for generations. I just am super passionate, though, about Michigan's commercial fishery and the families involved in what it is we do and how hard we work. But commercial fishermen like the Petersons, who once thrived off Michigan's plentiful waters, have been struggling. Right now, we are pigeonholed. We have pigeonholed our commercial fishery into a one species commercial fishery, which is whitefish. November is a critical month for the species and the health of the lake as a whole. Commercial fishermen can't harvest whitefish this month as they come into shallower water to breed. It leaves them vulnerable to sports fishermen who target them as well. This is a really important time for them to come in and get future stocks going and basically give us fish for the next seven, eight, ten years out. Because the fish that once filled these smokehouses are vanishing. It's mainly due to disruptions in uh, food web uh, with the introduction of both the zebra mussels to begin with and then followed up by the quagga mussels, which are essentially zebra mussels cousin on steroids. The decline has been rapid. The whitefish catch in Muskegon peaked in 2009, bringing in around 7 million pounds. Last year, that number sank to 2.5. Less fish means less income, which makes the business more shaky. To supplement their income, the Petersons now ship in fish from Iceland, Scotland, and Norway, fish they're not allowed to keep here at home. What we really need to do is diversify. The DNR argues opening up commercial fishing to other species like the lake trout could be enough to break an already damaged ecosystem. The Great Lakes right now are looking for an equilibrium. They're looking for finding themselves a new normal with the presence of quagga mussels and what they do to the food chain. If things don't change, the Petersons say what's left of their industry could become history itself. You're not going to have small-scale family commercial fisheries anymore. We're going to all be gone. Now, the DNR says both the lake whitefish and trout have started to adapt despite threats from invasive species. They say, among other things, if passed, these bills will help modernize the industry and ensure that those whitefish are the only species these fisheries can catch, which they say would protect the other species who are in even worse shape. For the few fisheries left in the state, they certainly hope that whitefish population does rebound because right now it's their only option. In the studio, Justin Kolar, News 8.